What's going on guys? We're back with a new product, this time from Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. This is for all three of the builds that we're doing for SEMA this year. So we got the Bronco, the F-350, and the Ram 2500. Basically, these bolt into the top of the dash. Most of them already have a mounting point. So the Fords, the Rams, and the Broncos all have it, which is great. Uh, so we got one for each of the builds, which was cool. They actually gave us some tumblers to go along with it. Again, matching the colors of the truck. So I have a white one here for the Ram. I got a red one for the F-350. We don't have that cool kind of like milkish blue color that's on the Raptor, but they just send a black one for you, Sal. So don't worry, you're not left out, but not as cool. All right. I also got some cool little key tags, which is great. We love key tags like this. Kind of keep track of the shop truck, especially when we're moving around. Easy to grab. So that's awesome. As well as an awesome bottle opener, which is, again, it's like probably like a 50 cal or something like that bullet. That's kind of sweet. So again, it's always cool to get free swag when you support a small business. So again, check them out. Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. Uh, we got the Ram one right here, which we're going to install today because it's the only truck we have currently. We should get the other ones this weekend, but we'll see. Um, we also have the one for the F-350, which is in this box right here, as well as the Bronco, which is in this long box, which is crazy. Smallest build of the group. Biggest mount, I guess you would call it. Um, but they all come with these arms, which are kind of cool. I'll show you here and again they're this universal ball Ooh, I was a little close up there universal ball you got a magnetic choice as well as an adjustable arm which I believe is in here yep little squeeze thing so you can fit the size it's spring loaded probably I don't know so what we're going to do is we're going to get into the ram today get that thing installed so we can start doing some vlogging while we're driving I'm actually using my tailgate feature finally look at that Ooh, where is it right there boom 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 because I need the energy right now so we're going to get into the ram Ooh, sun is bright right it's shiny uh we'll get in it we'll do some installs get some video of that show how easy it is and then now you'll be hands-free be able to use your device a little bit easier and again we're gonna have our switch pros up there as well so we can put it up take it down if we need to it's not physically mounted there all the time because sometimes the light at night kind of messes with the wife's eyes so anyways let's get into it all right guys we're in the ram now as you can see it's the top of the radio what you want to do is get in here pull out this little rubber piece I guess for pens or something, I don't know. Just comes right out, nothing holds it down. They'll never use that again, throw it aside. You got two Torx, looks like T15s. I'm gonna rip those out and then we'll go get the bullet point mounting uh, mount and we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these out. Let's see if I'm on, I am, awesome. Let's go ahead and get that out. You can use power tools. I don't know, in here I just don't like to. Don't wanna break anything. Comes out pretty easy here. Perfect. And perfect. All right. Pull these out. And now let's get to install. All right. So now we're going to grab the RAM install. It looks like it has double sided tape on it as well as the matting brackets. That way it doesn't wiggle around. But we'll see. Let me set you up here on the truck. Get some stuff out of your way. All right. That should be good. Make sure you move any shop objects. I have a tendency of uh, cutting myself, but it is what it is. Okay. All right, open this bad boy up. Okay, there it is. Metal, no cheap plastic here. Oh, look, it even comes with some new hardware and install tools, which is awesome. It even comes with probably the right torques that you need. That's crazy. All right, and then here's the mounting pieces. They're screwed in. It also comes with a screwdriver. Obviously, all we're gonna do is just mount this straight down. It's gonna go in, and then there's holes all the way through to these tabs. These tabs are where gonna go back in with the standard. There's a little hole in there. It's gonna use the standard Torx. Can you see me? Standard Torx, pull it down, and then we can add the arms and the magnetic uh, mounts, and then we should be back in business. So uh, let's go get it installed. Okay, so we're in the RAM now, we're about to install it. As you can tell, there's kind of like a slight angle to this mount. What you wanna make sure is that the the taller side is to the front of the vehicle, like towards the windshield, because it's gonna tilt it basically and fill the little holes that are in there. So if you look, see where the T, uh, the T screws went in before, that's where these little tabs are gonna go into, and then it levels it off with the with a slight angle that it has, which is great. So it fits in there perfectly, kind of sets everything the right angle. So we're gonna get it installed, get the arms on it, and then show you what it looks like. Let's do it. 
All right, guys, so just got it installed. A little tricky. Uh, I suggest putting the bolt in first before mounting it to the vehicle, only because it's kind of hard to just kind of get your head in there, look down, line it up, get it in there. Unless, again, you don't have this noggin of a head to get in there. But it wasn't that bad. Again, two minutes it's in there. It is definitely secure. Anyway, I'm going to be putting on there. It's not going to really fall or anything like that. So we're a great job. We're going to get the arms attached, show you what it looks like, and then we're going to start really having some fun. All right, so here we have the arms. Mm, hold on, there goes my cool Diablo sticker. There it is. Okay, so kind of cool. Again, I went with the dual mount only because we're going to have our Switch Pro, which we have currently down here. Um, we're going to mount that up on there as well as I wanted an extra one for the phone. Uh, it does have CarPlay and all that stuff, but again, I do like having my phone sometimes up top for me and as well for filming, that kind of thing. So it's going to be a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach one of these, right, to one side, which then is going to attach to this arm, if I can get it out of here, okay, attach to this arm. Which is going to attach to another piece and then we have the magnetic ball so again it comes off on really easily uh you can put it between the phone and the case i think you can put it directly on the case too i don't know i'll have to check that out uh but that way it's easy to use it's right in front of you uh, and you have ha truly hands-free using your device so let's get that on and i'll show you what it looks like all right guys as you can see here's one of the arms attached basically you're going to loosen this top kind of jam nut or whatever it's already kind of grooved for the other bottom of the bolt and now you can adjust it it just slides right in i took it all the way apart i hid the adjusters on the inside just because i think it's going to look better once the other arm is on there uh, at that point in time you can now loosen it and kind of point it whatever direction you want so that's why i have the two we can have one at the passenger one at the driver both of the driver however you want to work it but it's fully adjustable up down oops up down around back and forth it's kind of cool i like it a lot so now that we have that going on uh we're going to get the other arm on try to pull through the switch pro kind of give it some more slack route it the best we can to make sure it looks cool and then we're going to attach it on there and see how it looks let's get going all right so on second thought looking at the switch pro we might not bring it up here because we have the app now it's on our phone so we might just run with that so i'll show you why so as you can see, the Switch Pro is currently installed through the firewall. To do this, we have one of two options. One, take apart all this and run the wire behind it and then find a spot for it to come out, which there was already a mount that we could have bought, um, I believe from CJC off-road, that would amount the Switch Pro to the top. I don't want to do that because I really don't want to take apart this brand new truck. I don't want to mess with this. I don't want to try to finagle wires. I was going to try to bring it up through here, through the steering column. But then again, it's going to come up here and there's no way to kind of keep it close so that it doesn't stick out or grab. It's going to look ugly. So what we're actually going to do is probably hide the switch or keep it where it's at there so I can still kind of utilize it by hand. And we're just going to do the phones up top. The reason why uh, we have the app for Switch Pros, which is awesome. It's Bluetooth, the 9100. So we can use it outside the truck, inside the truck. I'll mount the phone on this mount, and then I can just push the buttons on the app to turn on whatever features I want. So uh, to hit the relay for the horn, so the horns work with the stock horn. Um, we have the lights on the roof rack, uh, underglows. Uh, what else were we adding in the rock lights, some other things. So I think that's what we're going to do. Keeps it cleaner. Uh, that's what I like to do on this build. It's an everyday air on the Hummer. I don't care. We can run wires, drill holes, do all that fun stuff on this one. I do as minimal as possible to keep it as factory because you never know. We want to upgrade, get the newer model. We want to be able to trade this vehicle in, not to try to sell it private party or have the option to do both. So we're going to kind of stretch away from that. So I'm going to attach the magnet to this thing. I'm going to try to still do it so it's out of the way of the charger because I actually do like wireless charging still. And I didn't get the phone grabber. All the other guys did. Or maybe they'll want to switch with me. I don't know. We'll ask. So we're going to go from there and see what we have. Check in later. All right, guys. Hands free. So we're already mounted up. Looks amazing. Again, it's fully adjustable. Up, down. You turn it this way. Slowly the truck um basically as you can see it's just a spring-loaded mount so you can have it obviously what's that vertical and horizontal for your filming which is really cool so i'm gonna go ahead and mount you guys back in 
don't mind my giant hammer, hammer, hand in front of the camera. There it is. So much easier. So now as we're driving down the road, we can really talk about our products, what's going on with the builds, kind of updates. And that's what we're going to try to get into now, now that I have this mount. So let's take this time in my easy chair here. Um, the Bronco was currently at k &N getting developed for their new intake system that they're going to be building. There's a couple little tweaks to it, which are pretty awesome for those that are trying to do additional things to that build to make it even more off-road capable and a little bit more exhilarating when driving. So we'll get into that once we get the product back and installed so we can show you what that is. Again, it's a little hush-hush right now, but we'll get into it. Uh, that's getting finished up. Uh, we're going to adjust the, I believe the exhaust, the owner wants to do that now. Uh, get the horns mounted up, finish up some lighting. We got the license plate relocation bracket. So the ADD bumper comes with a relocation bracket, which is awesome. We love it. And probably for normal, you know, individuals and people that have non-Raptor models, they're going to love it. It's great. Our biggest gripe, again, being who we are, it comes off and it covers the Raptor emblem on the back tailgate. We kind of want to show that off. That's the whole point. We're going to get it wrapped. We're going to have it orange. We want to be able to show off that piece. So that's one problem. The other problem is it comes with like this rubber mount to the back of it, which it makes it stand off of the tailgate and it doesn't make any vibration noise, which is good. It's steady, but I don't think I want that constant pressure pushing on that tailgate to make any marks. So we're not going to use that relocation bracket. We got a different one coming in. Basically, it goes right above. I don't know yet. I'll have to look right above or right below the backup camera on the tailgate tire carrier. So we're going to get that mounted. It comes with a light. So we're going to have to um, extend those wires down to the OE uh, license plate light to get some power to it at night because we can't run that light up because if you open up the tailgate, swing the tire out, it's going to rip that whole harness out of the back of the bumper. And I don't want to extend the stock uh, wiring. I want to just tap into it. Again, I like to keep things as OEM as possible. Unless you're the individual that wants to make that crazy build, then we'll take that step and move on. God, this camera's gonna drive me crazy. There we go. I'll get used to it soon enough. Um, so that's where the Bronco's headed. Uh, we're still waiting on tires. Uh, I gotta get the wheels, the tires mounted. Uh, like I said, get some vinyl done onto it, some exhaust and the horns, and we should be good to go on that. Get some media going and some marketing tools. So you should see some updates on that build as well. We should be taking it to like Azusa or something to really test it out and put it through its paces. Try not to bring anything before SEMA, but definitely show that it is a capable vehicle. I know the owner's down for that. So we'll have some cool content going there. Uh, F350 build. So that's a revamp. So that vehicle's already been to SEMA twice. So it's a veteran. It's gone there. Uh, two years ago, it was like its first show kind of debut. We kind of did a little bit different the next year, um, added some different components, switched up some things, but it was still very the same uh, new wheel, tire combo, and some other accessories. This year, we're revamping the whole thing. So I do want to give out some details. I know the owner wants to give out some details, but we want to kind of keep the suspense there but it's going to be a whole new build but it's going to still have that aggressive look maybe a little bit more flashy but still what he wanted to do with the truck so stay tuned for that there should be some media next week on the wheels and tires that we just shot for hard rock and rbp which is super awesome the guys at mk marketing did an amazing job the filming looks great oh my, my trash truck in the background and the, i got some still photos i cannot wait to release these to you guys it looks sick um then the ram so the round, we just finalized the wheel and tire setup that we're going to do with that one. We are still debating on suspension wise. So right now it's still sitting on the Carly three and a quarter inch lift level kit, however you want to say, um, which is great. We love it. Uh, but as far as clearance and height, we want to kind of hang a little, but it is, again, it's an everyday build. So we don't try to go too crazy with it. Uh, we'll probably do some graphics on it this year. So break up all the white that's on the vehicle. Uh, and then we're gonna debut the lights that are on it. So we have XK Glow on this build, as well as all of our builds. Again, thank you to XK Glow. Got all the lights on there. So we're gonna get, those are the new pieces to this build as far as underglow light, uh, roof rack light. Uh, I got train horns finally. So now this one's a menace in traffic as well. Interior wise, it's limited. We're not messing with it. Uh, got some, Maybe some sound coming in, but for the most part, this is an everyday kind of person build. We want to show that at SEMA. Not everything has to be crazy. It's just functional build. And of course, our masterpiece. So the Hummer, the one that we just do the craziest shit with. Uh, we don't care what it looks like. Uh, we want to get the most you know, eyes on it, burn your retina out, go crazy. That's getting completely revamped as well. So suspension redone with entire combo redone, a wrap redone stereo redone uh it's just gonna be a whole new animal so 
keep looking out on that. We should have some updates. It's already at the suspension shop. Uh, shout out to Bulletproof Suspensions. Brian really taking care of us. Uh, Jordan uh, over at Bulletproof. I think he calls it Bulletproof Coating or Bulletproof Product. I don't know, but I'll tag him. Don't worry. Uh, but they're going to redo a whole bunch of stuff on that, create also some new pieces for it. So on that vehicle, it is a Bulletproof 12-inch lift. A lot of people ask me about it. It is a Bulletproof Hummer basic lift. That's what it started off as. Unfortunately, it's no longer that. So if you're trying to get my exact kit, you can't just order it. That's something you're gonna have to call Brian and Bulletproof and try to make because we did kind of like what a Ryan DMX Rhino did on his. We deleted the torsion bars and went full coil over. So not only did we do full coil over in the front with an extra shock, we did that on the rear as well. So we got rid of the rear coil spring. Mine didn't have the airbags, some of the issues do. Mine does not. So we got rid of those airbags. Uh, sorry, springs, never had airbags, made coils back there and kept the stock shocks on the outside. So we have coil in the front, coil in the rear, dual shock front and rear on that one. We have custom made uh, lower trailing arms. So that might give you a hint of what we're doing. Uh, some other DOM, one inch high, giant suspension pieces on that. So again, call them, they can do custom work. Just understand, it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to cost more money, and Brian's a mad scientist, so sometimes he's got to sit there and play with it. So you might want to drop off the truck if you can to him and let him play with the, you know, the angles, trajectory, all that craziness. But it's worth it, believe me. This thing drives way better than it did before. So that's an update on all four of our builds that we are currently hands-on involved with. We also have a 2023 ZR2 uh, Chevy coming. Uh, that's uh, Damien. Uh, right now, it's, uh, I believe, Rock Craze ZR1. Uh, ZR2, uh, again, I'll get his Instagram on here as well. He's the guy that got me into this game, really helped me out and get me to the point where I'm at. So we're also going to be building his vehicle for SEMA. So that's going to be a brand new truck that's right off the line, getting into market just like the Bronco Raptor, get a bunch of cool pieces on it. Then we actually have cars. So I think I only do trucks, right? That's what you think we only do? No, we got a couple cars. One is going to be significantly not one wide GT2, which is a Kia fully bagged, aired out, just in a crazy build. Was at the, I believe, the dub booth or the, I think it was dub booth last year at SEMA. We're going to help him get set up with some new wheel and tire combo, I believe. Uh, maybe some Mishimoto stuff. So we're working on a lot of things on that as well. It's a crazy all wheel drive Kia, which is really awesome. And then we got a couple other builds that we're kind of messing with and seeing what we want to bring. We're trying to show out real strong for our sponsors. That's our biggest thing. I know a lot of people talk about, you know, followers and reach. We're just trying to get their names out there and show daily use, right? A lot of these vehicles that you're going to see at these shows are never used. They're literally just a marketing tool for that event, which is great. Believe me, it's going to bring people to your booth, to your product, to look at it. What we try to do is give real world experience and durability. So we use our products. This truck doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but we do use it. The Hummer, we beat the hell out of it. The F-350, beat the hell out of it. Glamis, hit the whoops, do whatever. The Bronco Raptor, same thing. We're gonna go crazy with it. The ZR2 goes off-roading, goes up in the hills, goes over rocks. I mean, I'm surprised he's not taking it to the King of Hammers. So that's what our thing is based off of. We wanna make sure that we're doing things that when people, everyday people that buy your products to our partners, that they can use them. And again, not all these are sponsored. I'm just kind of clarify that for you. A lot of people think, oh, everything on our trucks, it must be nice, it's free. Things cost money, guys. The more money you spend, kind of weirdly enough, the more you'll get, but you have to support the brands. So even if, let's say, you get something free from a company, order something extra for them to show their appreciation to that individual taking a chance on you to market their product. That's what our biggest feature is. So you'll hear me say partners more than sponsors. I don't like the word sponsor, right? Because it has a negative connotation and people reach out and just want free for what? What are you bringing value to? For us, we are a smaller group, right? If you look at like our followings, we're not like, you know, hundred thousands out there, but I believe we reach a broader range of individuals for marketing. And I feel we bring that to the brands and my current sponsors tell me that or partners tell me that. So the wheel companies that I'm partnered with, the tire companies that I'm partnered with, um, Lighting, Alpha Rex, huge shout out to those guys. Um, again, RVP Tire, I've uh, worked with Gear in the past, working with Hard Rock now as well. So we're adding more people to the builds. Horn Blasters, great partner. XK Glow, amazing partner. Gen Y, again, amazing. Bolt Lock, amazing. I can't say enough about our partners 
when we work with these people. They always show love to us. We show love to them. We try to, again, promote them wherever we go. We drive these daily so people see these driving down the street. Always ask us, dang, what is that? Where did you get it? That's where we kind of give that referral. And hopefully that increases their market share with us in the industry, as well as just everyday people that may have not have thought of that. Especially the hitches, man, they go crazy for that kind of stuff. The lighting they love. So think about that when you're building your cars or your trucks. Rarely will you buy a car or truck right off the lot and be able to put a bunch of free stuff on it. It just doesn't work like that. In the Hummer, I bought that first suspension from Bulletproof out of pocket. Wheel and tire combo, out of pocket. Paint, out of pocket. That truck, everybody thinks that when it went on truck night in America like three years ago that it was a fully sponsored bill or partnered bill. No, that was out of my pocket. None of that stuff was free. So understand that they now see what we're able to do. We follow through with what we say we're going to do. And now they have the confidence to kind of partner with us with their products and reach a demographic that they want to. So that's a big piece, guys. Be prepared to spend money to get things in return. That's just how it works. Unless you're just some, you know, obviously famous YouTube, TikToker, Instagram person that has a billion followings. Of course, you're going to get free stuff. But us as individuals, you got to show value and you got to execute on what you say you're going to do so have a plan have a rendering work with reputable people uh if you can't do it yourself get with us people that are in the industry that like to help each other out that's what i like to do i like to bring awareness to everybody and that's what i tell them listen you're gonna get some cool stuff may or not be partnered may not be free it could be free if it is free be prepared to promote this product and i mean constantly even if you don't think the post means anything you need to post regularly that's my biggest piece i know i'm going on this rant i haven't done this in a while but it's awesome to have this bullet point uh, mounting solution to be able to do this so I'm, I'm jazzed about this as small of a piece of the build as you may think this is it is huge two reasons it looks like it belongs there which again for me that's a big piece to when i build anything i want it to look like it belongs and number two it's useful on like more than one level, right? So not only am I videoing this, I can have, you know, entertainment for the kids in the back, right? While we're driving, not for myself, never. Uh, and usefulness for, you know, utilizing any apps that I may have on my phone, like my Switch Pro's Bluetooth controller, which is pretty sick. So again, every piece to these builds is important to us and we appreciate anybody. And I'm talking from the smallest thing, valve stem covers that someone wants to help us promote, we will show them the same level of enthusiasm and engagement as we will our wheel and tire combo. Now again, the more we get on a compensation level, the more we're gonna promote, the bigger we're gonna promote you on decals. Of course, it's just like any ad space, right? What you pay for is what you get, but we do not discount anybody when they give us a product we are excited about everything we get in any way so understand that and be prepared when wanting to build these trucks now like i said support your small business whatever it may be individuals that are local to you that give you the content that you like the product that you love two ways to do it is purchase stuff and review their products guys you got to go on either their website google yelp whatever it is promote it just say the amazing piece because People will always take the time to complain. Not everybody takes the time to support. And we really got to remind ourselves about that, especially this day when there's so much competition out there. We want to promote the ones that are doing great by us and continue to support them and help them grow and stay relevant in the industry. So with that being said, I'm done. Easy build thing today. But this weekend, we're going to finish up some stuff. So if you have some more videos, I'm going to try to get this up today. I might have a laptop. I don't know. But we'll try to get it done. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully we get some more content out for you. I'm horrible at this. As you can tell, I look homeless still. But eh, you know what? If I shave this beard, I have a tiny little baby face. So we're going to keep it on here for now. Uh, message, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know all the YouTube fun stuff. But the more you can help support us, the more real life content we'll get to you guys. And we respond. So any questions you have, any comments, any concerns, any feedback you want to give us, Please do follow me, Savage underscore H2 on Instagram. We have uh, 67 Tremor Ray on Instagram. We have Cactus B Raptor on Instagram and uh, 67 White or White Rabbit 67 on Instagram. Those are all four of our individual builds that I'm directly involved with. And we love to hear you guys. You know, we want to grow the community and continue to have fun doing this. And I love it, right? Every, every day almost we're getting something cool to install and we're going to keep it going until uh, the big show. 
uh, starting October 31st, guys, Halloween, first night of SEMA. It's going to be pretty sick. So, again, we'll see you later. Stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram. Take it easy, guys.